So next up, we're going to have to create essentially a list of actions. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be doing the map loader and teleportation ones. Uh, you might use this for other uh, events. I'm not sure um, how you want to handle that. Uh, you could uh, use it for touch triggers as well, you know, searching an item or say a barrel or something, or flipping a switch, uh, activating a door at a certain location. Um, really, there's all sorts of things you could do. I, you know, use your imagination. Uh, so in this, what we'll do is we'll do a select case and we'll trigger action. So, um, you know, we're going to do a case load map and we'll also do a case for uh, teleport okay so these are our first commands I'll keep those clean um, you might add you know all sorts of different things oh hey right, look at that because I can spell you guys probably caught that a while ago <laughs> get rid of that extra C in process Okay, so ah, map loading. Well, we kind of covered uh, map loading in the map loader tutorial. Um, not sure if that was in our world screen. Actually, yes. Um, we go up to where uh, we create our new world screen. We have an instance of our map loader from the previous tutorial where um, we use our map handler class. Let's see if I can remember where I put that. Um, sorry. Oh, here it was. <laughs> um, anyway, this is uh, where we're actually loading the map. Um, so we create a new instance of the map handler class, uh, generate a new map to load, and then we set the map width and height. And this is the actual uh, position that it starts drawing at on the map, the map X and Y. So in this case, um, you know, it's set to start with the map's default start location for the X and Y. Um, to place the the character on the world. Um, so what we are going to do is come down to our load map and we will create a new instance of our map handler class. I'm going to say dim uh, mh as new map handler and then I'm going to set the current map of the world to nothing. So I'm going to sort of nullify our current map and then I will say map equals mh dot load map. Let's use the load map sub and the map that I want to load is going to be based on our trigger value or in this case world. So we'll say um, just load map trigger value so that can be anything that we pass to it and next up we are going to set our map width equals the new maps width and same with the height we're going to say map height equals map dot map height Okay, so now we have to set our character's position in the world, or essentially tell the screen where in the world to start drawing from. So we're going to say set map x equals map, our new map's start location, dot x. And our map's y equals map dot start location. Dot y. Okay. 
So what if we want to override the default coordinates? You know, you leave a town, you don't want to start back in the middle of the map or wherever you started with originally. Uh, you probably want to start right outside the town somewhere on a specific tile. So this is where our parameters come into play to override. So we're going to say override our start chords. And this is where we'll process the trigger param. So I'll say if trigger params is not blank, then set map x equals. And what we're going to do now is split this parameter. And as you notice, we're not using the bar this time. We're using uh, a colon. The reason we're using a different symbol is because if that existed, um, this split, these splits are going to actually factor in that as a separate value. So you could, I guess, kind of just go along using um, the bars and just specify the index you want. But I think it's more intuitive, at least in my mind, uh, to do, you know, use a colon separator for coordinates. It's just the way my brain works, I guess. So I'm going to say split trigger params. And this time I'm going to use the colon. And I want the first value, since that's going to be my x value. And this will be my y value. So 0 and 1. Map y equals split trigger params again with the colon oops I should turn a light on or something uh, let's see all right and finally uh, once we've reset our um, our map location we need to make sure to update the character's position in the world so he doesn't think he's still standing, you know, wherever he was when he entered. Um, so we will set tune x or wherever he was in the previous map, essentially. Tune x is going to be equal to map x plus the character's offset in the world. So tune screen x and tune y equals map y plus again the character's offset for the y value all right and that's all there is to it for map loading um, so we create a new instance a new instance of the map base class using the map loader um, and then simply use the you know if you don't want to override the start position you know if you always want to start in the same position on that map then that's the first thing we do otherwise um, as soon as this gets immediately overwritten if there's parameters so it, this will override those start coordinates and teleporting is, um, you know, really pretty similar, except we're not actually going to load a map. We're just going to change the, the map X and Y to a desired value. So it's uh, quite a bit simpler. Um, let's see here. We could say teleport destination. And we'll just say if trigger params isn't blank, then map x equals split trigger params. Oops, I'm sorry. And again, we want to use our colon. And we want to grab the first value from that. 
Um, oh, we need to subtract uh, because this is actually this is uh, map X is the top leftmost corner of the screen. We have to subtract our tunes. Um, uh, his offset in this case. Otherwise, we'll teleport to you know our. If we teleport to where our character is standing, um, it's not actually going to be the x, y value. It's going to be the tune x and tune y. So we want to subtract our tune screen coordinates. So then set map y equals, again, split, trigger params um, at colon sign. And we'll take the second value from that. And this is the y value, so we're going to subtract the tunes offset y. Okay, clean that up. All right. So we process the parameters, um, telling him where to teleport in the world. And then we have to update his coordinates again. We always have to update the tunes coordinates. Um, Otherwise, he will not be aware of his proper surroundings. He'll think that his uh, that his position is actually the top left position when it's not. So, update the tune chords. Say tune x equals map x plus the tune screen x and tune y equals map y plus tune screen y. Alright. Now one thing you may have noticed is that we are completely skipping over the um, the trigger value. Uh, since in, in the case of teleporting there's not really, uh, you know, a value to our action. We just want to move the character in the world. So uh, you can just use a random string uh, or a space or anything as that um, secondary value, as long as you just put something in there so it sees that as a, you know, as a second index. It'll keep things moving along. So you can say there's no trigger value supply a random string yeah, that'll work okay so uh, let's see if there's anything else I need to take care of here um, I'm thinking this should probably Oh, yeah, you are forgetting something very important. Uh, we actually have to launch this uh, when a trigger occurs. So, um, uh, in our update sub, we're going to have to add um, the actual trigger check. So, we will do that. 